In this video, we are going to spend time looking carefully and asking questions about this work of art, a wooden mask made by the artist Janice Morin. Janice Morin identifies as Coast Salish and Cree, and she currently lives and works in Vancouver, British Columbia, marked on the map by a yellow star. We'll talk more about the artist in a moment, but first I would like to spend some time getting to know the mask that she made. Many of you probably recognize that this mask shows us a human face. We see a pair of eyes that are carved out and perched above a nose with swelling nostrils. The mouth is defined by thick upper and lower lips that are pursed together. Cheekbones also rise out of the surface of the mask. All of these details are carved in what's called high relief, meaning that the artist cut away at a piece of wood to make certain elements of the design stand out from the surface of the mask. This type of carving required Janice Morin to rely on her skill, strength, and patience to create the smooth and polished mask that we see here. Now let's talk a little more about the colors and shapes that we see decorating the face. The two main colors we see here are red and black, as well as the natural light brown of the wood. Lines of red and black curve and swell, going from very thin in some areas to very thick in others. These lines link together to create shapes that complement the contours or edges of all those facial features we talked about, such as the thick brows that we see above the eyes or the curving lines that we see around the mouth. These swelling and curving lines and shapes are Janice Morin's unique take on traditional formline art, which you can learn more about in the intro to Northwest Coast Art video. One area of extreme detail on the mask is seen at the forehead, which is circled here on this slide, where we see what appear to be two creatures facing each other in profile, meaning that we're seeing them from the side. These creatures have noses, mouths open to show rows of sharp teeth, and large oval-shaped eyes. These are bears, and bears are sacred to the Coast Salish peoples as protectors. These two bears are also a critical clue for us to understanding the ideas that this mask represents. Two other critical clues for understanding what this mask shows us are the hair made of long strands of dry woven grass and the black wooden spikes that we can see just below the two bears. In fact, this mask shows us the face of Jesus Christ, the savior of the Catholic faith. The long hair and spikes that I just mentioned are the giveaways that this is Christ, for the spikes represent the crown of thorns that he was forced to wear in the crucifixion story. Here I'm showing you an example of a French artist's version of Jesus Christ wearing the crown of thorns as an example of the long history of Catholic art that Janice Morin had to inspire her alongside her First Nations art and beliefs. She actually combines these two differing elements of her identity in this mask. And masks were traditionally worn by First Nations people as part of masquerades, performances in which people wore masks and full costumes to transform themselves into legendary or religious figures, to tell stories, and to communicate important beliefs and values. Morin's mask is not meant to be worn, but instead is meant to be admired as a work of art that connects to this long tradition. Her choices to combine her religious and cultural backgrounds in her, along with her unique take on formline art speaks to her lived experience as a First Nations person in contemporary Canada. And now for a few discussion questions. Why do you think Janice Morin used so much red and black in her design? One way to answer this question might be to look at other examples of Coast Salish and Northwest Coast art. Next question, what parts of your history and identity are most important to you? How could you represent those visually through drawing or another art process? And finally, why do you think that Janice Morin chose a bear design to decorate the forehead of this mask that also shows the face of Jesus Christ? <laughs>